Previously in Final Fantasy XIV, I continued my adventure in Eorzea from MSQ level 20 after defeating Ifrit, and had to choose a grand company to join. I decided to join the Twin Adders because I liked the cosy forest aesthetic. I struggled with reading the dialogue from the Sylphs, I did multiple dungeons, ran around a lot with the UI off taking screenshots, I got a nice strip tease from some cat ladies on the beach, killed the second primal called Titan, and then the main storyline took a dark turn at the Waking Sands with many characters getting slaughtered and Minophilia getting captured by the Imperials. I made big progress with my class questline, became a black mage and started to enjoy the combat more, also having a matching outfit with my chocobo. And the episode concluded with me slaying a dragon to reclaim a lost airship at around MSQ level 41. But before we continue, a quick word from today's sponsor. Bless Unleashed is a new free to play MMORPG that's available to play on PS for Xbox One and PC, downloadable from Steam. This high fantasy MMO features a good mix of both PvP and PvE content in the form of dungeons, battlegrounds and arenas, as well as an impactful action combat system with a focus on stringing together combos. Choose from five different starting classes, the Berserker, Crusader, Mage, Priest or Ranger. Take on gigantic world bosses in the open world, with massive groups ranging up to 50 players or more and immerse yourself in a cutscene rich main story that will take you across the many diverse biomes of the world, discovering treasure and unlocking different mounts and cosmetics along the way. Since its August 6th release, Bless Unleashed has surpassed 1 million downloads in 10 days and also reached a peak of 77,000 concurrent players. Bless Unleashed has just released its first major content update which brings a new multi-boss dungeon called The Night Spire Caverns of Wrath and a powerful new field boss called the Twisted Spider Queen, which is intended as a challenge for high-level players. Click the link in the description below to try out Bless Unleashed for free, and also check out the game's new Frontier Packs that contain various mounts, outfits and resources to help you on your adventure through Lumios. Download now. So we're back again today with some more Final Fantasy XIV and something that was suggested to me in the comments of my previous episode was that I level Red Mage and Black Mage simultaneously because I'm on a double XP server which sounds like a brilliant idea because I'm still not 100% sure on what class I want to go with. So we're here in Aldar to take the Red Mage quest. Distraught Lass, taking the red. You have to rescue my sister. Oh my god, stop bro, I'm stuck! I'll save her. It looks like a red mage has popped up to defend her. A sword that doubles up as a staff. Very cool. Well, if that's not a cool class, I don't know what is. Very unique mage slash melee hybrid. My lady is saved. Red mage unlocked. And now I am a red mage, looking very regal. That makes my next one instant. Oh, my V ability dashes me forward. That's cool. So it seems as though some abilities are instant cast based on what I press first. I can tell I'm going to like this class a lot. This is going to take a little bit of getting used to, like the rotation. Use some melee abilities. Oh, it's a highly mobile class. I can see that I'm doing absolutely massive damage, but I'm just kind of pressing things. I'm not really being very methodical. I think I need to sit in front of a training dummy for a little bit and actually understand the rotation. Big monster pops out. So it seems like you've got white magic and you've got black magic. And half of your abilities generate the white magic, half generate the black magic. You want to balance both bars and then you switch to melee mode and spend that power for big damage. That seems to be how the class is played. It is starting to make sense to me. Yeah, very cool class. Um, definitely a lot more fast paced than the black mage, so... Having these two very different playstyles while still being mages is fantastic. I haven't like looked up any guides or anything because I like to figure out these things myself. It's going to take a bit of practice to fully get used to it, but I've got most of it down already. Onwards we go with the red mage. Back into the most cozy city in the game, Gridania. How many times must I explain myself? I am not contemplating suicide, you imbecile. Okay, well, well that's good. Level 51 red mage now. Nice. That's a cool monster. 
and the siren. Your song's not working on me, love. Happy as a sailor in a whorehouse. I like that. I'm really looking forward to the next dungeon I get to do though, just to fully test out my red mage. Not sure if it exists, but I need to get my chocobo some red mage attire so we match again. I really enjoyed the aesthetics of the black mage, definitely more than the red mage. It's not really my style in terms of fashion. The gameplay of the red mage seems better than the black mage though. Perhaps later on when I've unlocked the glamour system, I can make myself look like a black mage visually, but use red mage abilities. That'd be the best of both worlds. Quite a lot of players hanging out here. Is this person playing the guitar? Wow. Yo, that's cool. How have they got a guitar like that? Have they like bought that off the cash shop or something? They've also got a meerkat on their shoulder. Okay, 10 out of 10 glamour, respect. There's another person here with a harp. Have I just interrupted someone's band practice? One of the most enjoyable things of this game is people watching in the cities at times. Bit of voice acting, we finally get to hear what Sid sounds like. Oh fuck. That's a cool looking primal. So this is Garuda, is it? Nice. These mobs are Garuda's simps, are they? Oh no, prisoners. Same thing. Boss music begins. Pretty epic intro to the boss. Move her down with my big red mage damage. Let's go in and pop the big damage. One, two, I can't pop three for some reason. Heal her top us up, lad. We're almost down. Go in. Oh, I'm dead. I was staring at my abilities a little bit much there at the end. Really enjoyed the music for that boss fight. I guess there's going to be a phase two. Okay. Get deleted, Garuda. Not sure what my character just did, but he just one-tapped her. Yoinks her crystal. Don't mind if I do. Is that all? Is that all? Garuda, you're fucked. You can't do anything. It seems like she's trying to summon the power of each primal. What is that? Oh no, that was a frit. This is Titan. Are all the primals going to combine into something? Okay, fucking robot monster comes out of the sky. Absolutely destroying a frit. That's took a frit's power for itself. Oh, it's just picked up Titan like a rag doll. It's sucked in Titan's power. This reminds me of the Dragon Ball Z saga where Cell starts consuming different people and getting stronger and stronger. Rip Garuda. Should have just handed over the crystal. Oh, he's bit her bloody head off. Good fight. Now it's got wings and it just flies off into the distance. That monster could have just killed us. It could have just destroyed our airship and just slaughtered us right now. Why did it just fly off? Question for you guys in the comments. Currently, I'm very overgeared in relation to the MSQ with my class gear, but should I be taking some of these things for cosmetics from the quest? I feel like because pretty much everything from the MSQ is a lower item level, I've been taking gill. Is that a good idea? Or should I just be taking some of these things that I can wear anyway just for transmog reasons in the future? Although saying that I am aware that you are limited to how many of these things you can store. So I'm really not sure. I'll choose the gold for now, but maybe next video, if I'm wrong, I can change it. The PvE is so much more enjoyable now I can play Red Mage. Genuinely having a decent time with the combat now. I like the rotation of this class a lot. Oh, that's level 52, and with that I can do the next class quest. Mordona, now entering a new zone. This looks pretty cool. Big giant castles, nice lighting. Lots of crystals coming out of the rocks of this zone. Big giant frog monsters. A bit of a swampy biome by the looks of it. Poor Minifilly is getting tortured by this thing. Big damage on Minifilia. Oh no, is someone gonna die? Oh, okay, I thought that was gonna be one of the scenes where the character jumps in front of bullets or something and sacrifices himself, but she had a, a big force field, apparently. I keep thinking these characters are going to die, but no, plot armor, I guess. All of these characters seem pretty important. I can't imagine this being a Game of Thrones scenario where all of these characters just die at some point. Sid's giving us a call. I bet he's going to come rescue us in the airship. We're going to jump off the cliff or something. That'd be predictable. Jumper. 
Yeah, okay. And we have escaped. Thancred, is he in disguise or has he betrayed us? Thancred's betrayed us? Really? Dude, I did my starting quests with that guy. Well, that's an unexpected turn of events. Okay, we're going to war. Okay, calm down, kid. This little kid's a psychopath. So excited to go to war. We burn the surrender documents. Time for some big damage. MSQ level 49 now. I'm guessing everything that comes next is leading up to us fighting the Imperial ultimate weapon. Casually just walk into the Imperial outpost. Don't mind me. Absolute mad lad. Brilliant stronghold, by the way. I just run past everyone. And the doors automatically open. And we've unlocked another dungeon. I guess it's going to be a series of dungeons now. This is going to be my first eight player duty. So that's exciting. Everything I've done up to this point has just been four player, so it's gonna be a nice change of pace. Giant base coming out of the sea. Very cool. Q's popped. So this is the big boss, is it? I wonder if this is just one boss or an entire raid. I wish I had a DPS meter to see how I stack up as a red mage. Oh, this boss is getting blown up. Big damage. Going with the melee. Jump back. Huge damage. He died so quick. I think we're all a little bit strong lord van balzar and he's dead gg is that it i guess with this being a double xp server all of us are over leveled over geared from the class quest stuff that boss probably didn't take as long as it was supposed to has this chocobo got bunny ears oh this is i guess this is the person who owns the chocobo they wanted the chocobo to have matching ears very cute. It's very important to take a bit of time to run around and judge everyone's fashion game. That's level 53. So new zone, Northern Thanalan. Looks a little bit more menacing, doesn't it? I guess this big fortress here in the distance is the next place we're gonna take on. Now I need to hype up some of these recruits that are feeling down. Go on, get pumped up. Oh, that worked. Level 50 MSQ now, final stretch of a realm reborn. Okay, here it is. Come on then, big boy. Duty commenced. Wait, <laughs> this looks very similar to the previous fight I just had. Dude, I'm getting mad deja vu from this uh, cutscene and the previous one. <laughs> yeah, the exact same thing just happened. Oh my... <laughs> I'm an absolute peanut. I queued for the wrong thing. I need to queue for this. I no wonder I had deja vu. I queued for the exact same thing that I did previously, whereas I was supposed to queue for this raid. Easy mistake to make, it's on a different page. And the other thing was just left ticked for some reason. Bloody hell. These two DPS better accept this queue. I've been waiting for half an hour for this. Please, DPS, come on, click the button. One more. He's watching anime, isn't he? He's watching fucking hen- Oh, finally. I feel really lucky to have found a group here because it's 1 a.m. I'm on the Japanese servers, and it's probably even later than 1am in Japan. Everyone's probably asleep, except for this set of neats. Let's go, heroes. Big puppy pee on bringing the damage. Boss number one, and it's one of these reavers or reapers. Okay, pop this. Go in with the sword attacks. One, two, three. Jump back, and it's already dead. Wow. Absolute easy mode. I kind of regret playing on this server. I think I'm going to have a hard time finding challenge. Because of the double XP nature of it, everyone's really far on their class quest lines and super overgeared. All of these bosses are just melting before all of the mechanics can play out. Yes, we get to enjoy the fun combat a lot faster, but you can't really enjoy the raids at their intended difficulty by the looks of it. Maybe this will just be a temporary issue for a Realm Reborn though. Sid's here stomping around on his mech, blazing through this fortress. That's a cool mob. Big giant sword monster. Jump around between mob spawns to assert our dominance. I'm not too sure how this big monster's just jumped out of the spaceship, but okay. What's it gonna do? Oh, this thing has a cannon attached to it. Okay. Big damage. Take out the tower. Okay, next boss. Oh, okay. Pretty important character. Wait, this thing's taking no damage. Oh, we need to click on the cannons, do we? It's not loaded. I'll, I'll leave the mechanics to the pros. I'll just continue being a monkey, dealing damage, bringing it down very quickly. Another big giant ad pops out, but we're just going to ignore the ad. Nuke the boss, and it's dead. 
GG. The way for the Ultima weapon lies open. Okay, I guess we've got one more big fight then. This really must be the end of A Realm Reborn. Let's see how long we have to wait for this next one. Probably just as long. The woes of queuing as a DPS. Oh my god, Q's popped. This is it. So now we go take on the ultimate weapon. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> okay, some uh, some interesting outfits on display here. It's a bunny suit. Very cool. Are we gonna fight Gaius? This dude's been like the main evil guy. I want you by my side, Sid. Take up your father's mantle and become the Empire's lead engineer. Bro, S Sid wouldn't do that. There's no way Sid's gonna turn on us. All that's left is to destroy the ultimate weapon final fight. Yo, wait, his armor's just turned gold. At least this guy understands the importance of fashion game. So now we're fighting the big bad guy of A Realm Reborn. We've got to be pretty close to the end of this expansion, surely, if we're fighting Gaius. All that's left after killing him is the ultimate weapon, and then that's that. Pretty epic music in the background. Wait, he's not dead. We've got a cutscene. Phase two. Now he's gonna get inside the ultimate weapon. Well, this is it. On to the final boss. Let's do it. The final fight. Yeah, just dodge out of that. Lots of little things on the floor to avoid. Bit of no UI gameplay to enjoy the spectacle of this fight. Effects going off all over the place. Oh, wait. Thancred's popped out. Something's gonna come out of the ultimate weapon. Unleash Ultima. Big damage. So we all just got nuked. Are we all dead? Thankfully there's a force field to protect us. <laughs> nice evil laugh. The final fight, phase two. Lots of things to avoid with this encounter by the looks of it. Pretty cool fight, really. I love fights where there's like lots of things to dodge. In terms of MMO PvE, it's always my favorite. Like high mobility, high movement fights. Where there's like tiny areas that you need to stand on to not get hit. Oh my god. This is extremely... Is he dead? Was that it? No. Looks like it. Nice ultimate weapon by the way. GG. We're gonna fight Thancred now. This is a long raid. So this guy wants to purge Hydaelyn. The crystal voice that's been talking to my character. There's no other evil characters the game can really throw at me after this. It's gotta be the final fight. Looks really cool though, with these flames around the area. Okay. Oh wait, he's dead. He's got no health left. That's level 55. Crystal power activated. Ooh, got a special light sword now. You're gonna pierce him with the power of light? Yes, so. Okay. Rest in peace. Yeah, this is definitely climactic. End of a Realm Reborn style cinematic that I'd be expecting. No, we're all like light superheroes. And we're all charging at him. Okay, now he's super dead. Wrecked. That was one hell of a long raid. I think I was in here for a solid hour. We killed so many main characters. We need Sid to come save us on an airship by the looks of it. Oh, okay. Or a mech. That'll do the job. Get in the damn robot, Shinji! Big explosion in the background. Everyone's regrouping. We got some end credits, have we? So this is the end of A Realm Reborn. Yeah, so Thancred was possessed. He had this kind of crystal that bound him or something. And now he's fine. That was quite some victory speech. Let it be written that on this day, by the light of the crystal, Eorzea ushered in a new era. The seventh astral era is come! And thus is ours a realm reborn! I wonder what the next evil will be. Oh. It's all going wrong again. There's a dark version of the crystal. Interesting. Primal? We killed all the primals, right? We had five minutes of peace. Seventh umbral era is off to a very good start. And thus did dawn break on a realm reborn. But where there is light, there is always shadow. Everyone's giving me a nice clap. Thank you, thank you. Slash bow. I'm a role player now. Oh, you clap. Okay. I'll give... Slash bow to you as well. Immersion. 
flying unlocked. Okay. To take flight, simply jump while mounted. I guess you need a flying mount, right? I'm not sure if I've actually got a flying mount. Fly. Oh, wow. We can actually fly. I've never experienced flying in this game before. Yo. Okay. That's cool. I didn't even know my chocobo could fly. He's only got small wings. So with us completing the main A Realm Reborn stuff and now about to head into the post A Realm Reborn content, I guess that'd be a good time to wrap up this video. And the best way to do that is to go to the inn, rent a room, jump in the bed, and relax after a long adventure. Until next time.